I'm going to put into initiation a few aeroids. Uh, one of my favorites is a cryptocorn here. I don't have this one in TC yet, right now. And uh, I'm going to clean these X plants and cut them up so that I can sterilize them. So you want to cut the foliage off, but you don't want to get too close to the part that you're going to use when you do your sterilization. If, if you cut it too close, bleach is going to soak in and it's going to end up killing your X plant. So what you want to do to sterilize to initially is to cut them further away. And after they're sterilized, you, you can trim them in a clean hood and cut them down because uh, it's, it's going to pull into the tissue. The same with all the rest of these. I'm going to cut these, these little explorative roots off. And uh, I'm going to cut this back here, sterilize it. When you cut it, you want to leave a little bit extra so that you can trim it, you know, five millimeters or so, uh, just to make sure that you don't kill your X plant. And you can see what I've done uh, to trim off the excess, but leave enough so that you don't get any capillary action going on the, with the bleach to kill everything. So I'm going to cut this down pretty close to the nodes, each of them. I can get two nodes out of this. You see this one here and this one. And this one is a single node here. That's a pretty big one. The only one I'm really worried about is the cryptocorn because, as you can see, it was down in the growing media and there's a lot of bacteria. All these were grown uh, in enclosures uh, to reduce contaminants. And uh, I'm going to rinse them off in tap water for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and uh, run them through a 20% a bleach and then uh, some hydrogen peroxide, a 3% for a few minutes, and then clean them with some sterile water in the hood and then plate them up into a I think I'm just going to stick them in a, uh, a cryptocorn protocol so that, uh, for one, I don't have a protocol for any of these. I don't know if there is a protocol, but you got to start somewhere. And uh, you do a lot of experimenting before you find the optimal uh, media for, for growing everything. You're going to kill some of them. You're going to, it's a waste of time if you look at it that way, but there's no other way to do it if no one shares a protocol or there is no protocol so uh, you gotta start somewhere and that's where I'm gonna start so I've rinsed off my X plants for maybe five minutes and I'm gonna use baby shampoo it's got my last name but I'm gonna use baby shampoo as a surfactant and it helps uh, clean it better if you use some kind of uh, deter detergent shampoo. Uh, uh, Johnson's is pretty mild. Any of the baby shampoos will work. I've used Dawn, but I seem to have a little better livability with baby shampoo. I'm just going to add a couple of drops to it. And maybe a few drops. And then I'm going to shake it for about five minutes and then rinse it some more and then I'll start using the bleach and the hydrogen peroxide. And you just shake it for about five minutes. I don't have a tumbler anymore. I sold it when I moved to Germany from Seattle. I don't have any of my mixed plates, stir plates, magnetic stirs, none of that stuff. I got to do everything by hand now. I don't want to rebuy everything. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, so I was explaining about me no longer having my mixed plates, stir plates, hot plates, none of that fancy smancy equipment and I have to do everything by hand but there are some workarounds to technology and uh, I guess it's low-tech can't quite get this off here so there's workarounds to some of these things so I'm doing this by hand with a mason jar 
but with the help of a sprout kit made for mason jars, can somewhat automate this. Make sure it's not too hot, not too cold. I like a little bit warm. And you can leave this in here for a while. You can see it just tumbles it. Let's rinse all the soap out of it. And I'm going to add a little, little bit of uh, Johnson's whenever I go to uh, uh, put it in the bleach because it helps the bleach print, penetrate down past the surface of the plant material. And some, some plants like Anubius, I believe that they have bacteria in the outer layer. It may be beneficial for the plant. I don't know. Maybe it's just the nature of what it is. But it's harder to uh, decontaminate to get into culture. There are several plants that are like that. Goose. Goose is like that too. It's very hard to sterilize. You don't want to beat it to death, but you want it to be agitated nicely so that that uh, you get the surface contaminant free. You get, get the big stuff washed off. Some protocols call for for 20 or 30 minutes to do this. I usually don't do it that long. This this stuff was grown in uh, bins covered up inside in the grow, grow house. So it's gonna be relatively clean, but if you get something from outside or, or submerged in your aquarium, you might wanna rinse it a lot, lot longer because you're gonna have a lot more uh, contaminants on it, especially if it's underwater and under soil. And next I'm gonna put it in a a sealed container with a 20% bleach solution. To make a 20% bleach solution, we're going to put in up to the 200 with bleach, and then we're going to fill it up to the 1000 with regular tap water. Since we're putting bleach in water, the chlorine in the tap water is not going to make a difference here. So I'm going to try to get as close to 200 as I can. If you can't get it exactly, get it close. And fill the rest up with water. Easy peasy. So you're gonna rinse uh, most of your X plants. You're gonna rinse in the 20% bleach for about three minutes max. After that, you're gonna start having uh, necrotic die off of your tissue. Some things can handle like hardwoods, like uh, maples, oaks, that sort of thing. They can handle a much longer uh, soak in bleach. But what I'm doing here is pretty soft, and so I'm I'm gonna go no no more than three minutes. And probably one minute is enough for these because they're pretty clean. And you can see there's the 1000 mark. And you might say to yourself, why is the American using the metric system to do measurements with? And I'll tell you because it's a lot easier. Math is a lot easier on the fly, and it makes it so easy that I often think that I've made a terrible mistake because there's no 1790 seconds and all that nonsense to have to contend with. 200, 300, 500, 1000, easy. And after rinsing off the explant material, I put it back into the same container. I'm going to add a couple drops of the same baby shampoo. I don't need quite as much this time, but. I'm going to fill this about half full and I'm going to shake it for no more than three minutes. I'm probably going to only do it for about one minute and then rinse it out with tap water and then I'll go to a hydrogen peroxide, take that out in the uh, clean hood, rinse it in sterile water and then put it in the vessel with the uh, initiation media. And that's it.